down in second gear through the final couple of corners we go back up third and fourth fifth and then cycle all the way up in towards seventh and eighth gear as we head out the final corner no idea sort of what lap times I've been able to set up to now but let's try and go then for one clean lap here at the Nürburgring try not to tip it in too aggressively down at one like I did last time round and we get away with it just about that time. Back and try to wriggle free, but we definitely stamped that out. Just all that grip from the rear. I mean, around the GP section, I can kind of work out, you know, sort of what I'm doing, formulate sentences as well. But like I said, once we get onto the Nordschleifer, it's going to be a real test of concentration there. Locking up a little bit down at the hairpin. Often find, you know, where this corner is slightly more than the hairpin, I always try and get my throttle a bit too early there, and it kind of drags you out towards the sand pit. Schumacher S easily, easily navigated that time round as we head up in towards the next S section. Two of my favourite corners actually around this, like such an iconic circuit, but yeah, I do love those corners as well. I don't know what it is about them, just always seem really, really cool. But now, as we head down, this is of course where I made my first sort of proper mistake last time round. Definitely didn't that time, remember to slow it down. Like I said, I'm certainly no pro. Oh, in the Mercedes there, is that's a way to start the Nordschleifer. Let's really focus now. <laughs> Put the power down, come on. Thousand ponies trying to escape the rear end. Don't be what I did last time. Which luckily, just a little bit of hesitation there, but we get away with it. Just trying to monitor how much battery you've got as well there because Max is trying to tweak it around later on in the lap so we've got enough down the back straight. Been through there, completely pinned. Eighth gear. Probably going to be getting close towards 200 clicks when we head down the back straight. Uh, not quite. Battery not wanting to deploy as much as I would have wanted there, but still not bad. Like I said, that corner completely pinned. We're up a little bit early there. Again, you can't attack the curbs around here. They will fire you off into an armco. Down through Foxhole, up the other side, down the one gear. That corner should never be down one gear at that sort of speed. Just clip the curb on the exit there. Back end again, thought about it, but we correct it. And we live to fight another day still. A lot of curb there. Just can't even see it where you're aiming for, so you kind of just guess and hope there as we wedge it over that curb as well. Maybe it's starting to just take a bit of liberties here at the Nordschleife, and you cannot get away with that for very long. So that corner, again, should never be flat at that sort of speed. Big lock up there. This track falls away from you. So we now head down in towards Anna now. Best line out into the back straight, but not too shabby either. Fingers crossed we're going to see a bit more deploy being used to carry us up the hill. There we go, look at the Delta in the green there now. The car just uses a little bit more battery, but when we get them into sixth gear, it just doesn't want to anymore. We'll flick it back down into seventh just to give ourselves a little bit more speed. But yeah, again, Mercedes engineers not wanting us to get all the battery drained around this part of the lap. I wonder if there's still sort of an inbuilt limit that the game won't let you use over a lap, despite how long the circuit is, because I would love just free reign, just to be able to use everything, as again, almost looping it. Through carousel nice and tidy, and like I said, this part of the track is what I was going to really look forward to. This is going to be a bit of a roller coaster through the second half of the lap. Often a forgotten and less loved part of the Nordschleifer, I think. But certainly still, what an experience.
And I mean, because all the corners just come at you so quickly, you can't even enjoy it for all too long either, because suddenly you realise you're out down in towards Mini Carousel and towards the end of the lap here. Maybe in 7th, just because of the weird battery usage in 8th. Down in towards Mini Carousel, though. Oh, back end really didn't want to... Well, front end, actually, there. We kind of launched out of Carousel a bit early. Is this corner? Is it completely flat? Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, there's no way a lot of these corners should be as flat as they are, but is battery going to keep deploying? Yes, it is now! Finally getting a bit more deploy as we head up the back straight. Is it going to get... Oh, it's going to continue! Look at that! Love that! From the engine, can I change it around? It stops doing it now. Can I go into attack mode, perhaps? Will it keep deploying? Yes, it will! That's what I like to see. Keep using the battery! Please, car! As you can just see the Delta climbing. What is the time going to be here? It's certainly going to be a lap that I'm going to be pretty happy with. And my prediction won't going to be far off then. It is going to be sort of a low six minute. As through the final chicane we go. Up towards the line. That is going to be a lap then. Of the Nordschleifer. And that's going to be sub 620. 619.2.